Welcome to the AQT8 series video one. This particular video shows you how to set up the Blonder Tongue AQT8 Quam IP unit focused on the Quam IP outputs only. Please note, if the unit you are setting up is the AQT8 Quam, its printed quick start guide shows the IP setup as step six. But for this video, step eight, we will cover the IP setup. Please note, we will refer to the AQT8 Quam IP as the AQT8. This short video is intended to aid you in configuring the AQT8. Some assumptions are made that may not be exactly like your particular situation. Before we get started, be certain you have everything you need to set up. In the package we provided, you'll find one AQT8 Quam IP, one power cord, and one Ethernet crossover cable. Please remember the difference between the crossover and a regular Ethernet cable. Now in addition, you should also have your own digital television set, 20 dB attenuator pad connected directly to the television set, and eight-way splitter along with coax cables. This assumes that all input channels are in one input cable, in our case from a single broadband antenna. If you have separate inputs or a combination of two, simply use the appropriate splitter to connect to the AQT8. And finally, a computer, laptop, or desktop with Ethernet port. Now that we have everything, let's get started. Step 1. Connect the inputs. First, connect up to 8 terrestrial or clear QAM inputs using the 8-way splitter to the 8 VSB QAM inputs on the AQT8 with coax cables. Then connect the crossover cable between the AQT8 10100 control port and the computer via the RJ45 port. Connect the power cord. Step 2. Log in. Assign 172.16.70.2 as the static IP for the control computer. If you do not know how to set up a static IP, you can Google this to find the solution within seconds. Open up the web browser. Type in 172.16.70.1 into your browser address bar to access the AQTA. Press enter. Log in with the username admin and the password pass. Click submit. Step 3. Selecting inputs. Go to the input map tab. Select edit at the top of the input table. Change the input selection pull down to all. Select modulation mode. The default is 8 VSB. In our application, we're using 8 VSB mode. For clear QAM input, select the applicable QAM modulation mode and click Save. Select desired channel input frequencies. Repeat modulation mode and input settings for all inputs. Click Save. Step 4. Verify inputs are locked. Verify the front panel input status LEDs are on. They should be green. If not, check to make sure you have selected the correct channel in step 3 and that it is currently on. Please allow approximately 10 seconds after saving for the LEDs to react. Be sure you have entered the physical channel numbers of the input and not the virtual channel numbers. Broadcasters include the virtual information in their digital transmissions in order to maintain their original analog channel identities. The virtual channel is what the TV will display and in most cases will not be the same as the RF channel it is broadcasted on. Click Input Map and hit Refresh tab to verify the input channel data. Step 5. Check SNR. Go to the status page. For reliable AQT8 operation, the minimal value for 8 VSB should be greater than 22. If the signal is yellow, try to improve signal quality. Increase the RF input level as required to achieve desired SNR. Now we have successfully configured the inputs. Step 6. 
configure Quam outputs. Go to the Quam page to set output channels. On Quam Module 1, in the first output channel frequency, select the desired channel. The AQT8 then automatically populates the next three consecutive channels. Ensure that all outputs are enabled in CW mode is not selected. Select the Quam modulation. For this application, we will use 256B. Repeat process for module number two. Click Save. Step seven, perform channel scan on television. On your TV, perform a channel scan. CATV, digital, standard. Confirm the AQT8's channel outputs on the television. Note that the TV will display the virtual channel number as delivered by the content provider and not the QAM output channel set in the step 6. Virtual channel information can be found in the input map data back on step 4. Step 8. The IP output programs are exactly the same as the input programs. No input selection is allowed in this model. Go to the IP output config page. Configure the IP address in port. For each output stream, coordinate with the IT system administrator for the required IP addresses. Select the encapsulation, RTP or UDP, based on the receiver unit's input capabilities. Enable the IP output. Click Save. Now you are all set up. Thank you for watching.